Bonjour à tous! Hey everybody! So today we got to go to Paysanaz, which is a small town in the south of France. It's close to Montpellier. It's a bus ride of about an hour. And we got a tour. And basically the reason we went there was to study uh, Molière, who is basically the Shakespeare of France. He's hilarious. If you can, look up uh, Tartuffe and Le Médecin Malgré lui two amazing plays and they're hilarious and basically we got to look at how Molière influence was an influence on uh, the south of France because basically what happened was Molière forms a troupe in Paris because he's from Paris and <laughs> he went to debtor's prison for like six years left Paris after that with his troop to go to Bordeaux. After the Duke of Bordeaux says, uh, bye bye, after about five years, he goes to the south of France. And this is where Paysanas comes into play. He basically was able to keep his troop going with his comedies um, after he figured out he did not write very good tragedies. <laughs> So we instead decided to write farces, which, God, are amazing, amazing. If you like Shakespeare and word games and just, in general, comedy and plays, you gotta look them up. <laughs> They're hilarious. And basically he was able to keep going because a woman in his troupe, who was named Marquise, Nope, she was not a Marquise. She was not noble at all. Um, but her father named her that to give a false nobility to her, kind of, because they they were not rich. <laughs> so because so many people just fell in love with her because she's gorgeous, she was able to save their troop. And then they took Paris by storm. And then he and someone named Lully get involved and they create plays combined with music and opera and ballet. And Louis XIV is like, yes, yes, let's do this. And then Moliere kind of gets tossed out and betrayed and dies of a sickness. Kind of depressing. But that's his story, basically. Um, but he is a wonderful person. I studied him in high school. I did a project on Tartuffe for my AP English class. And then I was actually in uh, one of his plays for a winter term class at Elon. I got to play Lusand. And Lusand was a fun role play because she pretends to be mute for most of it. <laughs> I liked the role because I didn't have to talk much. <laughs> But of course, that wasn't enough, so I took another role as a country person. I think his name was Pierre. It was either Pierre or Thierry. Basically, I was a son of whoever. And we come up on the main character, Scanarelle, and this was Le Médecin Malgré Lui. Basically, what happened, and the title translates to uh, The Doctor in Spite of Himself. <laughs> it's this really funny story about how a wife tries to get back at her husband for smacking her around by telling everybody that he's a doctor, but he won't admit it until you smack him around a little bit. <laughs> she didn't think that he would actually say he was a doctor, but he did just to get them to stop hitting him. <laughs> And all kinds of shenanigans ensue, of course. <laughs> so, basically, Lusanne's father, so basically my father, was like, uh, my daughter suddenly went mute right after I secured her this engagement, and I need you to fix this. <laughs> uh, my character is actually in love with another character uh, who pretends to be the doctor, doctors, assistant <laughs> it's a funny story and 
basically the first time I actually talk as Lucend is when I scream at the character playing the person playing my father. <laughs> I had to literally scream at <laughs> Sophia, the poor girl. <laughs> Number one, we had to have a girl play the guy parts because we had more girls in the class than guys. Typical in the French department. Oh well. But basically, I had to just scream at this poor girl who was barely taller than I was. <laughs> and it took everybody by surprise. <laughs> and my other role was also kind of short, but I had to fake a really, really southern French accent and kind of like the French version of redneck. <laughs> it was probably really offensive, but it was supposed to be, so it was probably okay. <laughs> Here's open. <laughs> but yeah, basically I was a redneck and a mute girl, and I had a lot of fun. But that's then my experience with Molia, we got to do a lot of studying him and how he wrote and what happened to him. And then later, I took this civilization class and we looked at Molia and his involvement with Louis XIV. And Louis XIV, Louis the Fourteenth, is the Sun King, the guy that built Versailles and decided, hey, everybody in this royal family should be treated like gods, which then led to Louis the Fifteenth just enjoying Versailles and marrying his son Louis, coincidentally, to Marie Antoinette, and we all know what happened there. But yeah, so that was his role in that. Apparently Louis XIV was a big fan of the ballet and was really good at it. And ballet was invented in this time period, apparently. So hey, Something came out of it other than revolution, which is good. <laughs> but at any rate, I did take pictures. Problem was, the... I don't even know what it is. But the pictures came out white and with very little dimension. I think it's the contrast. I don't know how it happened. But I must have hit something and didn't realize it because I was doing it obligatorily. Obligatorially. Is that a word? It's now a word for my mother because she told me to take pictures. So I just kind of... And, and none of them are good. She's going to kill me. <laughs> but luckily, I can go back to Paysanas when it's not a Monday and all the shops are closed. <laughs> and hang out and have fun. And take pictures properly so that my mother doesn't come across the ocean to kill me. But other than that... I am going to go to bed because I, I've done a lot of exercise in two days and I have another day full of, of exercise tomorrow. It's gonna hurt my back and my shin splints are acting up again, so rest. Note to all of you guys, take care of yourselves and stay hydrated, okay? Okay. Au revoir. Bye everybody.